if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next one. I was doing some work in London and I invited my wife and daughter up as well for the day. So we all went together and uh, my idea was to finish, to finish my job and then go out and do some uh, fun street photography on film. I took my Canon EF camera and also a Zeiss Icon Netar. But unfortunately, I realised when I got up there, I, I didn't have any film in my bag, so uh, and I hadn't ordered any, <laughs> so I had to go looking for film, which I thought wasn't going to be hard in London, but it was. So I managed to phone up Jessops in Oxford Street, and uh, they said they got a massive selection of film. Um, I couldn't get there, so I asked my wife and my daughter to go and get some film for me. Uh, that was quite a challenge in itself. Um, you'll see in the video what happened there. So uh, this video is a little bit different to my normal videos. It's more about being out on the street and uh, visual stuff uh, and then we come back after um, after I've shot my photographs and get in the dark room and do a little bit of printing so uh, on with the video it starts off with us leaving home and getting uh, on the boat to Portsmouth from there driving up to London and uh, the rest you'll see I hope you enjoy it guys and uh, I'll see you at the end of the video So today I'm in London, it's um, about 6 o'clock in the evening and uh, I sent my wife off to get some film from Jessips because I forgot to get film. So uh, I sent her off to uh, Jessips to get some film and she's come back with some film for me. Hopefully it's the right ones that I've asked for. So Em, you've been in Jessips right? Yes I have, I went in Jessips Oxford Street. To get my film? I have and I met a lovely man called James and I'd like to say a big hello and thank you so much because I had no idea what I was doing. Show us a film you got for me. Hang on, I've got a few. Hopefully one of them's right. That one? Where's it? I can't see it. I can't see it, you got the writing on it. Turn oh. it around the other way. There you that go. Way. <laughs> yeah, 3200, I want that one. That's that one. Yeah. Well done. Good. Bad. Right. Hang on, I've got two more. I've been a busy girl. That one? 120 HP 5, yep. That one? And HP 535mm, well Woo! done! So that's a good start. I've got uh, the 3200 for my 35mm, what I wanted, and also the HP 5 for my 120. I'm probably not going to use the HP 5 uh, for the 35mm, probably going to just go and shoot some street stuff at 3200. So, um, but the idea of this video is I'm going to uh, walk around the streets with the video first and uh, just show you some of the streets around where I'm in Soho in London. And then after that, I'm going to put the camera away, take some photographs, and I'll show you what I come up with at the end of the video. So I've got my family with me, it's my wife there and my daughter Jess and uh, if it sounds pretty naff it's coming straight off the phone so uh, I apologise about that um, but I'm just going to walk around see what we can find in London. Jess what are those glasses? £18. <laughs> £18, I said what are they, not how much they cost me. Anyway guys, um, yeah let's get on with it. So uh, I've got a camera bag with me and inside the camera bag is my Canon EF 
for the 35mm and I've also got my Zeiss Icon Netta uh, medium format but my camera bag hasn't got a strap so I'm a little bit um, <laughs> a little bit stuck with it really because I've got one hand on this camera and I don't want the other hand on the camera bag so I'm just going to have to go to uh, Jessup's in Oxford Street and get a strap for my camera bag hopefully they're not too expensive So this is Oxford Street, it's pretty busy and it's uh, half past six in the evening. So uh, I've got to try and find this Jessops, wherever it is. Show the strap. Can't get it off. Get it off. Can I, I can't, is, that, is that a shoulder strap for my bag? Thank you. I can never do these traps. What? Oh, I know. Strap. Let's go. So this is James and Jessops and uh, he's the man that supplied my wife with the film. If it wasn't for him, God knows what she would have come back with. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot James. No yeah. problem, I'll catch you later mate. So I've got my strap now from Jessops and uh, I'm ready to go and shoot some film and show you guys some of the streets around Solo. And that guy back there, that was James in Jessops and uh, he's the guy that um, sold my wife the film like I said if, uh, if if it wasn't for him God knows what she would have come back with but uh, he wanted the channel as well so nice one James thanks a lot for that right let's go and shoot some film Way to Gerard Street, it's not too far, just a, just a few uh, a few alleys and streets away, and this might be a good place for me to start doing some photography. Uh, it's getting a little bit, it's not too dark, but it's starting to uh, spit a little bit, and I think it's going to start raining, but uh, it's not going to stop me. I don't mind a bit of rain. Um, I'm going to use the 3200 film inside the Canon EF. Uh, that's what I'm going to do to start with. Um, mill around, I'm going to put the camera away and see what I can uh, see what interesting things I can photograph around Chinatown. As I say, this is Chinatown behind me at the moment. Um, quite an interesting place to start. Yeah, so it's started to rain now. Uh, like I said, I ain't gonna stop me. Uh, so I'm gonna get the 3200 out and I'm gonna use the Canon EF. It's a 50mm lens on it. So let's get this film inside this camera and see what we can do. Thank you. So I've just finished running around the streets of Soho and 
here's the camera here. I've taken 24 photographs and it started to rain um, after I took about three. So um, at first it was spitting, I thought it was okay, and then it just started to come down. Everyone was out with umbrellas. So I managed to get lots of different shots around the streets in the rain. Uh, I'm not sure how they're gonna come out. I haven't got a light meter with me, and a light meter inside this camera is knackered. So, uh, you know, um, I've had to use an iPhone app for, for my light meters, but um, oh, a little bit of guesstimating as well. Hopefully it'll come out all right. And uh, so anyway, I'm in a restaurant at the moment, a Chinese restaurant in Solo with my wife and daughter. We're gonna have some nice food. And then uh, after this, we're gonna get back in the car and get back down to Portsmouth and back home onto the Isle of Wight, get on the ferry at midnight. Um, I was gonna shoot the Zeiss Icon Netar uh, with the HP5, but it's just uh, so overcast now, it's just got too dull and dark and it's too wet. So um, I'm just gonna uh, use the film that I've shot on this, which is the 3200 Ilford 3200 film. So uh, yeah, when we get back, I'll um, develop the film and see what we've got. Have you had a nice day? We've had a fantastic day. Yeah. We've been to Harrods and we're gonna have dim sum. I've never had dim I've never had dim sum. Have you ever had dim sum? I haven't, little dumpling. So I've said that six times. Yeah, but Dad doesn't know I've not had dim sum before. What was you doing when I was out taking photographs? Uh, we spent some money. <laughs> where we? we went down Kings Road and we went in some really nice shops. But we headed on a bus, we got on a bus and we got a bit lost, didn't we? We went the wrong way. Yeah. And then we went to Harrods. And we spent three hours at a makeup counter yeah. in Harrods. Yeah. Three we hours? Literally. I think we spent three hours. That's why we took ages. We, we spent like two hours getting makeup done. Yeah, we literally spent three hours. And then after yeah. Harrods, we literally got on a bus and we ran all the way, one end to the other end of Oxford Street, to find Jessup. Honestly, right like there. We ran down Oxford Street. What's he saying? It's closing at five. This is at nine. No, he's not recording. That's why he's calling the camera like that. I am recording. Oh, no, but she said, is he recording her? Yes, I am. No, no, but she doesn't notice the camera, is there? So it's not often that I scan my negatives, I prefer to print in the darkroom. However, for this video I decided to DSLR scan my negatives just to show my results. I've made a video before on how I scan my negatives uh, using my DSLR and my large, and there is a video um, on my YouTube channel uh, about this. Scanning this way, it's, it's okay, it works for me, uh, for archival purposes, but um, I haven't got a professional uh, film scanner, so this is the only way that I can uh, get a, a decent, half decent result in scanning my negatives. Anyway, I'll show you some of the photographs that I've scanned using this method. They're not fantastic, um, but uh, I'm gonna choose a few to take into the darkroom with me and make into prints.
So this is my first test strip. I'm going to start on the uh, the print with the guy walking down the sex alley with all the all the toys and stuff. Half that shit on the wall. I don't even know what they're on about. Viagra. I've heard of that one, but uh, anyway, the test strip. Yeah, uh, the first one I did. I realised my developer was um, exhausted. You can see the difference. This was um, it just come out muddy, and I realised hmm, my, my developer needs uh, changing. So I put a new, fresh batch of developer in, and uh, you can see straight away the blacks are black and these are grey uh, indication straight away it's just a muddy test strip but um, anyway I just thought I'd show you that so onto this test strip of three seconds three six nine twelve fifteen and eighteen a uh, bit too black on um, nine too light here on on three three six nine so I'm gonna go for six seconds I'm gonna do a print at six seconds and see how it looks and uh, yeah I don't want to waste any paper so I'm just gonna use another test strip on the overall image I'm also going to come this side because I know that's where I think that's where the lights were yeah that's where the lights on the signs are so they're going to come kind of diagonal across and uh, do what we said at six seconds and give it a burst the lens apertures are f8 by the way and that's it let's put that in the developer and she goes I'm looking for a contrasty print. Nice clean blacks, nice clean whites. Hopefully I can achieve it. So I'm now developing this 10 by 8 and I'm telling you now, this is the only one I'm going to print. I won't waste any paper on it because, uh, you know, it's not going anywhere, it's not for sale. It's just going to go in my archives of, uh, of my little trip in London. Um, and it's, it looks actually, it looks quite nice. It looks quite nice. The way I've dodged the top there, the lights have, have come in quite nice. Um, but I'm not one of those guys that are going to, you know, go in the dark room and try and get perfection every time. You just beat yourself up over it. Um, you know, unless you're selling a the print, then of course make a make it as good as you can. Write down your timings, etc., and uh, reproduce at your own leisure. But for me, this is good enough once it comes out and be, and gets fixed and washed, and it will just go in my archive of. Um, Memories, I suppose. Yeah, this is the the next print I wanted to do, so uh, I'm going to get on with this one. I, it looks very similar, so I'm just going to keep it at the same times, uh, six seconds, and see how it looks. Now, look, let's uh, print this little bit of sky here, maybe burning in. So we'll try that out. Um, again, I'm gonna, just going to burn the edges around a bit, but more so this black sky area. So let's see how that looks. So uh, first off, six seconds. And we'll start, I'm going to burn that sky in a little bit. Um, Need two pieces of card for this. Hopefully that's the that's the sort of shape I think. Something like that. It's hard to see with that light. I'm gonna just turn the red light off. Still got the light on the enlarger on. Let's come back down. And in she goes, there you go, I can see it better now. Just going to burn that sky in a bit more, the buildings as well around the edge. I've got a feeling I might have gone a bit too crazy on the burning though, but uh, we'll soon see. It is what it is. Wow, could have burned even more, look at that. The highlights coming from the sky onto the floor. That's really surprised me. And we'll have to have a look at this and do a reprint. I think sometimes 
sometimes you realise you've got to do a reprint. Um, this is not as good as I thought it would be. Okay, let's uh, fix it and have a look, and then we'll do a bit more playing around. And after a little bit of hand burning in, um, that one's come out quite nice, so we'll hang that out to dry. Next one. So this is my print of the telephone box. Um, I quite like this because there was, there was some construction going on around it. Um, it just looked a little bit quirky. In fact, there's a little drink bottle of water there next to it, I didn't realize. Um, but the image is a little bit underexposed, uh, but it was tricky. Like I said, I didn't have a light meter uh, with me when I was uh, running around London. And I was running around pretty quick as well because it was wet. And, uh, and I had to meet everyone and Jess for something to eat as well. So um, anyway, that was the telephone box. I still quite like it. And this was the sex shop alley lane that I come across. And uh, I promise you now, I didn't get that penis bottle opener from there. That was, that was given to me years ago by a friend. Anyway, um, yeah, I just found this interesting. Like I said, I just ran past, see this, as I walk past, see this guy walking through, saw the signs and just took the photograph. Um, I, I kind of hoping that it would come out. I kind of had the settings in the camera uh, anyway for this this kind of lighting so um, you know there was no time to, to start measuring light just took the shot and uh, and carried on I haven't got a clue I know what Viagra is obviously Camagra, Slider Max, CLS, Jellies, Poppers I've heard of Poppers uh, what the hell is that all about but uh, anyway nice little photograph I quite like that one this guy's mysteriously looking through obviously looking into a window and I remember taking this photograph as I was walking along, I noticed this lady, just the way she was standing, the way she was presenting herself with her legs like that, either she was dying for a wee or, uh, or she was just being ladylike. I think she was just being ladylike, um, but I've just noticed the Union Jack umbrella and just the way she was standing in, in the rain waiting for the traffic to pass um, just sort of uh, just caught my eye. Again, these, these people around her. And she just looks so stylish the way she's there. And I managed to get her right dead centre of the frame. So um, just a quick shot again. And after doing much more burning here in these areas and obviously in the sky, uh, managed to bring it back a little bit. Um, as I say, I'm happy with it. I don't know what this guy here was doing in the middle. Um, it's, just a, it's just a street, street shot that I quite liked uh, at the time when I took the photograph. And this last one, I quite like this, where the cycle was, or the back wheel was sitting on a uh, basement skylight, if you like, in the floor. And the light in the basement was obviously on, so it was shining up through the bike. And instantly took my eye, so I took a photograph of that as well. So to me it was a good evening out, uh, shooting film and, you know, having a little bit of fun in between as well. I managed to come back with uh, some nice prints here, they are here. And uh, I think out of all of them, to be honest with you, my favourite one I think is the... Is, well, the, I think that's the favourite one with the guy walking through the sex street looking, I don't even think he was looking for, he might have been looking for sex toys, I don't know. Um, but the funniest thing is I, I, I didn't have a clue what all this was on the top, uh, apart from Viagra. But um, I just liked the photograph, and most of these photographs that I took were, were literally, I was running around and snapping them uh, as quick as I could, because time was running out, light was running out, and it was starting to rain. So it was, it was getting a little bit difficult. And the second photograph... Um, I particularly like that one, I did like that one actually, um, but the other photograph I did like was uh, was the lady at the uh, the crossing, it was just the way she was standing, kind of very ladylike, I, I don't think she was um, dying for a pee, she was just uh, being a lady I think, and I like the umbrella as well, and uh, she's slap bang in the middle there with everything, everything else going on around her. I also want to give a shout out to Tim Layton Photography, he's got a fantastic YouTube channel and he's also got a really good Facebook page all about Darkroom and also a online magazine. Tim's Darkroom Underground magazine is an analogue photography publication that features photographers from around the world. Uh, they publish technical and creative articles and share portfolios as well from some of the world's best photographers that uh, still continue to use film as their medium in these digital times. 
so well worth taking a little look at uh, Tim's website which I'll put a link on there now but uh, anyway guys I hope you liked the video and um, I'm glad I've introduced you to my family you've already seen Jules the dog in my other videos but uh, anyway like subscribe share and all that stuff and I'll catch you next time stop hair loss he says I could do with some of that myself I'll follow that taxi Let's go.